Now, what does that mean? That means bringing in the whole world into Europe, getting rid of sovereignty. And on the surface, yeah, it doesn't seem bad. Hey, we should all be, we're all one people anyway. It, this human race is, is one people. We all come from Africa, if you trace it all back to, mm -hmm. the, to the roots. But what this plan is, is, is doing is creating two classes of people, a upper class, mm -hmm. which will run and control everything, and then a giant lower class, which will be a mixed race type class where when you look at something like idiocracy, everybody's kind of overweight and, and large Hispanic people. You know, it's how they drew it out the, uh, they drew out the timeline for that. And what that is going to do, it's just, it's, it's not going to be good in the, in the end for people who, who want to better themselves, who want to upward, be upwardly mobile. There's never going to be any hope in the end. If you right. take everybody in and go, we're not going to, we're just going to let Africa fall apart and, and the Middle East fall apart and Eastern Europe. We're just going to let all these places fall apart and take everybody. We can't right. do it. It's, yeah. it's physically impossible. There's not enough money to go around. Well, just like they want to make the United States a welfare state. They want that on a global level. They do. And, you know, here's an article from 2014 out of the BBC. Q&A. What benefits can EU migrants get? They don't call them illegal aliens. But, you know, they can get... Uh, back then, and this is just job seekers, they could get an allowance of $116 a week. That may not seem like a lot to me or you, but to somebody coming in from Africa, that's a hell of a lot of money. And right. that is impotent. Wow, boy, I can get that much. I yeah. can live with that. When you're living on a dollar a day or less in some places, I mean, it's okay if you're going to come here and make $5 an hour. That's there you go. You could. All, they also can claim a housing benefit, uh, tax benefits. And then, you know, the, the spending per person, they're, they're, this is back in 2010. This is five years ago. 8,000 euros per person in the UK, 9,000 in Denmark, and, and in the Netherlands, it was uh, actually France and Germany was 9,000. Denmark and the Netherlands, it was above 10,000 per person. Wow. You can't sustain that if you don't have people contributing into the tax base. And I don't know why it's so difficult to get people to see that. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. Hi, I'm Shane Steiner. A lot of you have been following my progress using Supermail Vitality. The last 19 weeks has been an incredible experience. I was feeling a little down and lethargic during the holidays, and none of the supplements that I was taking were doing any good. That's when my longtime friend from high school, Alex Jones, introduced me to Supermail Vitality. I was a little skeptical at first. Not only would I have the energy to work out and go to the gym, but it, it was actually the changes were happening to my body. Uh, a lot more rapidly. My whole mood, my libido, everything had completely changed. The concentrated organic herbs, they stimulate your natural systems to produce the natural hormones that you need. I just really wanted to, to bulk up and hit it hard and I went in for about the first five weeks and was lifting heavy weight and just really hitting it hard and I gained 20 pounds of muscle immediately. Since that, I've decided I was going to lose some weight and slim down. I just changed up my workout a little bit and 35 pounds came off. Folks, this is not a joke. This is not a gimmick. It's real. Super Male Vitality. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. 
Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and cannot be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. I just hit him with the stick. Joining me in studio now is Anthony Gucciardi. Anthony, I wanted to get you in studio today to talk about this article that's up on the Drudge Report video. McDonald's chicken supplier caught stabbing chickens with spikes. This really doesn't surprise me, but it's absolutely disgusting. It doesn't surprise me either, and it is disturbing. It is disgusting. It looks to be in the video that those people are completely mentally ill, if it is actually true. It looks to be true. Fox says it's true. Other news groups say it's true. It shows factory farm workers that supply McDonald's and Tyson, which is the a major, major chicken supplier, their McNuggets and everything like that, they're taking these spikes and just smashing the chickens. They're stepping on their heads to break their neck, stomping on them with their boots, and just ab abusing them for no reason. I mean, they're going to die anyway. Why do you have to do this? Right. It just goes to show, I think it was actually me and you too, we spoke about it maybe one or two years ago, McDonald's downward spiral. CNN asks, right. is McDonald's over? Business Insider says McDonald's is losing America. McDonald's is on a massive landslide down to bankruptcy. And I believe within the next five years, they probably will face bankruptcy if they don't change their act. People are fed up with their BS. They're fed up with their crap. They're not loving it anymore. They're tired of it. <laughs> I'm not loving yeah. it. Yeah, I'm And not this is just it. another staple in their demise because McDonald's refuses to use high quality food they refuse to get rid of the toxic compounds in their food. They refuse to get rid of the chickens that sit in their feces all day right. and are given just enough antibiotics not to die before the chronic illness gets to them. Because right. you have to think about this. You've seen the insider videos in the factory farms. And by the way, I'm a meat eater myself. I will eat super high quality organic chicken or, you know, I'll eat something in a restaurant that's decent. But I'm not going to go out and eat McDonald's chicken that sits in its own feces to the point where generations of these chickens in some of these factory farms are sitting in their own feces, like their grandfather's feces, and right. developing and never these disgusting infections. They just pump Open them up sores. full of antibiotics and steroids and just hope they don't die. Right, and this kind of condition is not new. I mean, one of the reasons why I actually became a vegetarian years ago was because I was a teenager and it, I watched this movie, Faces of Death. And like one of the scenes in Faces of Death was there on like a, a factory farm or whatever. And it was just so horrendous the way that they, you know, d cut the beaks off the chickens and hang them upside down and scalding water to make all the feathers come off or, you know, pluck the feathers off them while they're still alive. So these are the kind of things that are happening in a lot of, of these factories. It just so happens that we have animal rights activists getting these things on tape now, uh, which is one of the reasons why they're obviously so afraid of drones and things like that. 
exposing these horrendous activities that are going on. But now, now McDonald's and Tyson's Foods, they say they've dropped they've dropped this farm. They're not going to use this particular supplier because they're bad after this video. But I mean, this is kind of an industry wide thing. And, you know, I think people are really wising up because they are getting more ethical about what they're putting in their bodies. And this, the way the animals are treated led to slaughter is also a part of that. You know, and first and foremost, I think it is a victory they're dropping this branch of the factory farm because it shows even though a lot of them are bad, yes, it shows the power of activism. Mm -hmm. Because somebody took that undercover video of this torture of the animals and put it live, and we made it a big deal. We even tweeted at Tyson. Alex tweeted Tyson. I've tweeted Tyson. They responded and said, hey, we actually dropped this company, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, there's still stuff going on. Right. But it well, shows the tangible evidence and demonstrable evidence of activism at its core. Right. And then also, we all remember the drone videos or whatever it was with the pig feces right. lake. Exactly. And stuff like that. So it's going on big time. Mm -hmm. And we can vote with our dollars because, like I said, I'm not against eating meat, right? I think I'm obviously supportive of vegetarians and stuff like that. But it's yeah, just like there's produce. there's a humane way to do it to yeah. where you know you're putting in your body something that's... Yeah, I would equate it to corn, though, because you can have an ear of corn that's super high quality, organic, and great. But at the same time, you can have corn that's sprayed with herbicides, pesticides, genetically modified, completely destroyed. Exactly. Just in the same way you can have an animal that is somewhat humanely killed, you know, for food versus something that is uh, someone that's breaking its neck and stabbing it with spikes and releasing adrenaline right. and stress compounds in its body before it's killed and destroying itself with, um, you know, compounds in pharmaceuticals they're injecting it over and over exactly. with again. So there's just so we much. It rattles my brain. Toxins that isn't good for our bodies as well. And now there was, there's been some other videos that have come out. Uh, foster farms, they were, they were also caught, um, uh, an alleged undercover video as well, sort of the same same type of thing with this animal abuse going on. And that's the thing, it's like, why is this bad, but then, you know, hanging them upside down in scalding hot water alive to, you know, why isn't that abuse? Because that's, you know, pretty industry standard. Anyhow, so now Foster Farms is coming out saying that, that the video was clearly shot with an agenda in mind because it was these animal rights groups and it was heavily edited Sounds a lot like these Planned Parenthood videos, how their Planned Parenthood is coming out and saying they were heavily edited and altered in it. Now, I'm sorry, if, if you're saying that at least one time within a two hour long conversation, you still said it. Just like with these videos, if someone is beating a chicken's head with a hammer and spikes and stepping on its neck, it happened. How You can't edit that unless you have like a green screen and you're creating it in a movie right. studio. And I'm not against the idea that some of them are edited and some of them are on an extreme agenda to attack different corporations. I mean, I'm not against that idea. There are certainly tons of video. The, 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 the ability to edit video these days and make things sound bad is just so extreme. You know, it's so extreme. Mm -hmm. But the over overlying issue is that there, it is happening. It doesn't matter if some of these videos are edited or not. Right or what the agenda is, and oftentimes, you know, it's happening, period. And that's the big issue, and that's why people are defunding McDonald's, defunding Monsanto, which lost $128 million in quarter four of 2014. All these companies are losing money fast, and I believe if they don't clean up their act, they're gonna go bankrupt at some point, because we are entering a new food paradigm where groups like Whole Foods are booming, mm -hmm. and groups like Monsanto are failing, and McDonald's. Right, well, what do you think about some of the other companies companies that are just waiting in line they're kind of allowing monsanto to take the fall but you know dow syngenta is, is now propped up they've they the fda just approved their own line of gmo foods as well as a, a pesticide an herbicide to take care of those gmo foods well syngenta is interesting because monsanto has just been dying to purchase syngenta i think that's because syngenta is the new advanced line of gmos in the sense that syngenta goes further than monsanto they're looking into biopharmaceutical crops where you could grow pharmaceuticals through genetically modified crops. They're looking into altered uh, animals, genetically modified animals, stuff like that. Syngenta is actually, I don't know if I'd say worse than Monsanto, but they're more extreme in the field than Monsanto. And I think Monsanto's understanding that it needs to diversify its brand because at the consumer level, it's losing. People know not to buy GMO crops at, at the store. That's why organic is such a big deal to deal now that we're importing organic crops from India and Romania and stuff like that, the soybeans from India, the corn from Romania. So they know at the consumer level they're losing. But if they have something like Syngenta, where Merck is not going to really 
care if you grow biopharmaceutical crops from a GMO plantation versus the consumer is not going to buy GMO crops at the grocery store. So I think they want to go business to business more so than some, supplying something to a business that goes to the consumer. Right. Well, and obviously they are really pushing like these uh, vaccinated bananas and things like that for because they travel it's good really for you, easily. Leanne. And yeah, I, I'm you're a bad person get, if you don't want. All I that. love bananas, so why not? Just it's kind of like 